I um I wanted to talk about a little bit about something. My sister has a blog, and this is one of the posts on her blog that I want to share with you um, because I think it's an interesting subject. It's called Dead Sharks. And at the beginning of each one of her posts, she always has a little quote of her own, like something like this. And this one is, Relate, and suddenly you are swimming in the waters of unification. And I think that speaks a lot to the importance of empathy. But um, she puts it this way. There, are, there invariably comes a time in many of our lives when we are forced to ask ourselves what serves us, particularly regarding the matter of relationship. We move through our lives making friends, lovers, acquaintances, business contacts, an endless stream of meetings, greetings, connections, and partings. We all have had the experience of discovering that ideal simpatico camaraderie, sharing similar likes and dislikes. There is that perfect rush of totally connecting through dynamic dialogue, mutual inspiration, and just plain being comfortable together. But what happens when all of that relating begins to break down? When we start to feel the threat of a history unraveling, gradually or suddenly in some cases, we begin to feel things differently. Maybe we're not being heard or feeling misunderstood. There are lapses in communication and not as much time spent together. What exactly is it that moves the relationship to the next, almost in inevitable phase? Time, personal growth, geographical distance, most likely, if we look more closely, we can see it has been brewing for longer than we may care to see. And it, and it is perhaps here we see the cold, hard fact. Truly, nothing lasts forever. Learning to let go of relationships that no longer feed us or contribute to our overall inner growth, and I like to add, is no longer mutually beneficial, is a hard nut to swallow and is perhaps even a time to grieve, as we are saying goodbye to teachers who have helped shape us into the very beings we are today. But to paraphrase Woody Allen, relationships are like sharks. They have to keep moving forward in order to survive. With that said, some of us may find ourselves relating to his final thought on the matter. I think what we have here is a dead shark. And she ends it with keep Keep it moving forward or move on. This is my response to my sister's blog post. I have had to deal with quite a few dead sharks of my own in my life. But I think that rather than relationships that no longer feed us or con contribute to our overall inner growth, it might be better to describe these relationships as just no longer being mutually beneficial. One might find oneself in a one-sided relationship I found myself on both sides of that coin, although I do have to admit most of the time it was I who was trying to feed the shark, and the shark just wasn't eating. I love that analogy, by the way. I believe that people come into our lives for a reason, but some are meant to be there for a very long time, perhaps till death, in this life anyway, and others a shorter time. It's always sad when you realize, after unsuccessfully trying to move forward, that it's finally time to move on. We can only hope to do it with grace and to give the shark a respectful goodbye. Wonderful and wise post, my graceful sister, is what I wrote. And someone else wrote, um, and I know I've, I've heard this before, um, Uh, it's too long to read, <laughs> but it's basically um, that it begins with um, people come into our lives for a reason, a season or a lifetime. And I'm um, just curious about your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear, I, I would love for you guys to make a video response using on that. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to post this because of course I have to ask my sister if it's okay that I... I vlogged about it, but um, she's a real special person and I admire her a lot, so I get a lot of inspiration from her. And if you're watching, mwah!
Love you much. And I love all you guys too. So thanks for watching. Bye.